So hey guys, take two, because I had the wrong script, walked around trying to look for it, and I was sitting on it the whole time. So my husband said, that's embarrassing, I'll try and add that in if that videotaped him. But, um, so hey guys, welcome to my 34 weeks and 35 weeks update. So, um, I combined these two weeks because I just did a video on the ugly truth about pregnancy, and... I'm almost 36 weeks, so it just makes sense to combine 34 and 35 at this point in time because of our birthing class this weekend, so I'm going to do a video on that, and I'm just running out of time. A um, little disclaimer, I'm trying to, like, the sun's about to go down, so, like, I've kind of moved everything so that, like, the window's directly on me to get natural light because when I put on the overhead, it's just all orangey, and, um... Also, I have a viewfinder over here, so if y'all ever wonder why I look over to the right, it's kind of easier to talk to yourself than a lens, but I will try to, like, look right here. <laughs> so, okay, 34 weeks and 35 weeks update. So what has been going on in my pregnancy? Well, um, I'm struggling, like, home struggles. So what I mean by home struggles? <sighs> I cannot get everything done, it feels like. Like, I feel like we're almost four weeks left, we're in the home stretch, sorry, and I just feel like I can't get everything done. Sorry, my um, son's granddad has him right now, so he's texting me. <laughs> you can't ignore stuff like that. So, um, so let me get this done before all the light goes away, because we fell back, fall back the clocks. So that kind of threw me off too, and oh my gosh, it gets dark so early, and I just feel like, I feel like everything's rushed lately, that's just how I feel. So like, my home struggles, I cannot get everything done, it feels like. My mom was going to come help me this weekend, she's still coming to help, but she's by herself because we have our birthing class, and then Monday I have a doctor appointment, and I have my breastfeeding class. So, <laughs> I just feel like, oh my goodness, and my, um... My tennis team, I'm going to city with my second team, my Sunday team, and so we've been playing like crazy, and it's end of the season parties, and we're, we were playing twice a week, I was playing three to four times a week in our final playoffs, and <sighs> just crazy, but we're getting towards the end, so things are getting done, so um... I'm just not, I don't feel like I'm nesting, if that makes sense. I've talked to you guys, if you followed me in the past, I've talked to you guys about how I used to take Adderall. And obviously I don't because I'm pregnant, but I'm really missing it these days because I feel like, I don't know if I just, I'm not nesting or I'm just struggling. Probably more just struggling is what it is. Um, well, I'll get through it. You just gotta, I'll power through it. Um, okay, so my ankles look awful. Awful. I am so swollen, you guys. So I told you guys in um, one of the last couple of videos, I went up like six pounds in two weeks. A lot of it was water weight. Well, I'm back up again, and I still think it's water weight. I feel like I'm drinking enough, but I must not be, or I'm eating really salty foods, and I just don't know it's salty foods. I obviously know stay away from the chips, but you know what? Halloween candy. <sighs> Halloween candy has got me bad, especially this year. Like, I get the, like, I, I steal my son's little mini ones, but still, they have to have salt in them and, like, sugar, and I can't be good, and I'm sure I'm gaining weight, too. Yeah. It's really hard to stay away from candy. You know, I just feel like the ending, you're just, like, you want to be, like, screw it, like, whatever happens, happens. Sorry. I just got my hair cut. I don't know if I'm used to it yet. But I need to be careful and I don't want to be swollen. Like, I'm waking up with swollen fingers and, like, my fingers will ache. And, uh, and my ankles are always just big. So that I'm just very swollen lately. And I hope that's what's showing on the scale, at least. Because I weighed in at 166. So that would be six pounds and, like, two weeks again, but 166 was what they weighed me at at the doctor's two weeks ago. So, um, I don't know. I weighed myself when I, after a couple days after the doctor's and I was 160. So I feel like I should be about 160, 
three right now, so probably three pounds of water weight. Water weight, sorry, I will try. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess not awful, but I just need to watch. I need to start drinking more. It's really hard. I don't know if anyone else struggles. It's really hard because, and on top of that, you have to pee all the time, so it makes you not want to drink. Well, I'm going to try better. Um, I had a baby shower, my final baby shower. I had a great baby shower, but I still feel like there's so much that I did not get that I need to get. So I have put everything like in the Amazon shopping cart and I will slowly get it. Obviously, it doesn't all need to be immediate, but there are some things that I want before Presley comes. So I'm going to focus on that and get those things slowly at a time so it's not like one big hit of money coming out of our account. Um, so just know when you do your registry, I don't know if it's just me, my friends, my family, but just know when you do your registry, like, a lot of people don't always get what's on your registry, and that's perfectly fine, like, I understand it's just, like, it's just a guideline, I guess, but it, it makes me wish I did more consignment shopping than I did. I was worried I was doing too much consignment shopping and buying too much. And my mom was like, you need to slow down, let other people buy for you. And now I'm like, well, I probably should have gotten more. Not a big deal. Like, I can get it all slowly. Um, I got some great things, though. Like, people find the cutest things, especially for girls. Um, and we did books for cards, and I loved that. I loved seeing, like, everyone's favorite books. Um, Patrick's aunt customized, like, books for Presley and with Aiden's name in it. I thought that was awesome, so... So I got some cool gifts. Um, okay, so I had that little scare of like low movement. Well, movement has increased so much. So everyone says it starts slowing down. I can't, again, eight years ago for Aiden, so it's really hard to remember. But um, she's not slowing down right now. She's increasing, and I feel like the movement is crazy. But I'm, sh and I've dropped. I have dropped. I have dropped. That was another thing. Not a lot, not all the way, I don't think, but um, I'm sure when she drops all the way, the movement will decrease. Sorry, guys. Everybody and their grandma is texting me right now, and my um, in-laws are going out of town, and I'm at the shop by myself tomorrow, so they're telling me how to forward the phone and everything. I turned my light on. It got too dark. <laughs> I'm just, like, this is the story of my life. A hot mess. <laughs> <coughs> um, okay, so I told you increased movement, um, just a lot of increased movement. So um, my next exam is in intern in internal. Thank you, internal exam. Um, I talked about this before because I thought it was weird that it happens like later in thirty six weeks. I just remember them more common with my son. But um, I'm excited but nervous for it. So they're going to be testing me for, um, I think it's called the strep test or something like that. Um, B-strep, something like that. Um, I probably should have had that written down exactly what kind of test that was. But um, I had it for my son and I was positive with my son, but it does not mean that you're positive for every pregnancy. So, you have to get tested every time. Basically, if you're positive, they try to pump two IV bags through you before you give birth because when you give birth, that's how you pass it. Um, as far as I know, um, it's not a huge deal. But again, I try not to research the crap out of everything. So, if you're the type of person who watches this for like all the information, I'm so sorry. Like, my channel is probably really upsetting to you because <laughs> I don't like to research everything because I'll just dwell on it and it'll freak me out. So, um, but I'm excited because I'm also getting tested to see if my cervix is softened and if I'm dilated at all. So, that's nerve-wracking and exciting. It's exciting because that means, like, you're towards the end and they're checking everything. Um, but it's also nerve-wracking because I'm like, again... I'm not ready. Like, I have so much to do still. Like, I need those four weeks. I want her to come in the beginning of December. She's due December 10th. 
Patrick's birthday is December 2nd, so December 2nd would be awesome if it happened on his birthday. I'll be ready then. Um, but I still, like, I have my diaper bag to do. I don't know if I'm going to get to do the what I got in my baby showers type of video um, because I really am getting behind and I want to do a nursery video and I want to do what's in my um, delivery bag or what I'm bringing in my hospital bag. So I made that list already. I just have to pack it and I just feel like I'm running out of time. So we'll see what happens but um, I will try and do what I can. And if you have preferences, let me know in the comments. Um, some people have texted me and stuff like friends who watch, so I think that's pretty awesome that everyone's like, oh, I'm relating to you, like I love watching your videos, like that's so awesome, that makes me feel great. Because that's why I'm doing this, like I love it, I want to be able to look back, compare my pregnancies, um, especially since I forgot so much with Aiden, like I'm just like, did that happen? Was that how that went? Like, I just, you forget. So, like, being able to refer back to this is going to be awesome. <coughs> so, I will have my internal exam on Monday, and we'll see how that goes. I will definitely tell you guys how it goes. Um, so, I've talked about how I feel like I don't have enough time. Uh, everyone's got to feel like that. Like, you're towards the end, like, you've got to feel like, oh my gosh, like, we're getting crazy towards the end, like... I just, I, there's no way I'm going to get everything done. If you're on top of everything, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Tell me how you did it. Because um, right now I'm just making lists, checking it off, trying to get things done. And then, um, I don't know why, but like I feel like there's so much, like I want the garage done. That's not necessary, but like, well, it's kind of necessary to the point where I was like, I told my husband I want to be able to pull into the garage because we don't keep our cars in the garage. Um, for if it's raining. I don't want to pull an infant out in the rain. So that is very understandable, I feel like, but I want to go through my Christmas stuff and like downsize it. That's not necessary, but I almost feel like I have to get done before she comes. I don't know. <laughs> That's just kind of how I'm feeling. So if you're feeling that way too, like I'm just trying to prioritize what needs to get done first and what doesn't, I'm trying not to stress about it. Um, prepping for staying at home. Okay, so like along with this, like <sighs> Amazon Fresh, that's how I'm prepping. Um, I'm definitely like I've tested it a couple times. There's some things like I don't, I'm not crazy about their produce. Um, but their meat's not bad and like other stuff like that's not bad. So I can sign Patrick for like a little produce list in the very beginning or like have some help or just bite the bullet and just hope that they send me good produce. But I have been trying out Amazon Fresh. And I will definitely use that when Presley comes because I'm not going to want to go to the grocery store like right off the bat. No, 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 no. I'm also doing um, meal prepping, so freezing some meals and stuff like that. I've also asked my mother-in-law and my mother if they're cooking right now to cook extra and freeze it for me and just bring it over. Um, this way I have some frozen meals just to pop in. So I think that's a great idea is to have meals prepped and ready and make your life as easy as you can for when baby comes. Um, Home Grove, a couple of you have probably heard of that. If you watch YouTube videos, I'm sure you've heard of it. But it is a um, company where you can order cleaning products online. They do a lot of green products, which I really enjoy. So between Amazon and Home Grove, like I can pretty much get everything that I need shipped to me. And Target, like, duh. <laughs> um, but they also have like Kroger Pickup, um, where you just do like your list and you said time to pick it up. So I could always send my husband to go do that. And that might be something that I end up doing. But I'm just preparing myself for those type of movements because I really enjoy going to the grocery store, but that's not realistic for when Presley comes. So I'm prepping myself for that. Um, I talked about how I'm eating so much Halloween candy, so I'm just going to skip through that because... And you, you know, I do have to give like mad props to my son. If, if I was my son's age, actually, okay, when I was little, if an adult was to touch my candy, like I'd freak out. Like... I'd be like, oh my god, this is my candy. Like, what are you doing? Why are you eating it? 
my son like really does not care and but he'll have his candy like he hoards it almost um I used to hoard it and still not want to share but he like shares so he never complains about us eating his candy but I almost wish he would so maybe I'd stop eating it because I don't feel guilty since he doesn't care um but if he did care I'd feel guilty and maybe I'd stop so <laughs> that's catch 22 right there um, y'all, am I crazy for hosting Thanksgiving at my house? Because I'm hosting Thanksgiving at my house so far. I will have help from my family, but I love Thanksgiving. Like, it's my favorite meal almost. I, lo I just love Thanksgiving. So I love hosting it, and I haven't been able to in the past, and I really want to now because our house is done, and... Well, not done. I still got a lot to do. But, like, our house is all set up. We were moving in last time. And it was a lot. So, I really want to do it. But, I might be taking on, like, a, a lot. So, worst comes to worst, my mother-in-law said she'll have it at her house. But, I'm going to try and have it at my house. And, I can't decide if I should go ahead and put the Christmas stuff up. Or do, like, fall decorations. Because I haven't done anything yet. And, of course, my son wants, like, all the Christmas stuff up, but I'm also thinking that's a good idea because considering my due day is really close, close to Thanksgiving, um, maybe I should go ahead and do it so I'm not stressing about putting Christmas stuff up. If you have feelings about that, let me know because I'm very, very torn on what to do because I love the way, like, the fall decor looks, but... I also love Christmas, and I'm probably not going to be able to do, we do an annual, um, what are they called, Dirty Santa at our house, and I probably won't be doing that this year because of the due date. So, no one will get to see my Christmas decorations. Like, first world problems, right? Right there. Um, okay, another thing that has been killing me is, like, waking up and going to sleep have been so hard and uncomfortable like I towards the end of the day I get so antsy my poor husband like I get so like irritated and antsy and just uncomfortable and I'm ready to go to sleep and I don't ever want to get ready for bed like everything seems like a hassle and then waking up I'm always like it's like waking up and going to bed I'm like in this sore swollen mood almost waking up is like it takes me a minute to get going and then I feel great but initially getting out of bed sucks but at the end of the day I'm just like ugh and that has gotten worse so yeah that's just kind of how I'm sure a lot of people feel like that but that's just kind of how everything's been going like I'm just so swollen and so irritated and I have four weeks left. Like, that's definitely showing I have four weeks left. So, I hope that that gets a little better. Um, hopefully, the swelling will go away with drinking a lot more. Uh, the back pain has really not come back at all. The pelvic swelling, either I'm, like, really used to it and just don't notice it as much, or it's kind of slowed down because she's dropped. Maybe that. She's, like, not hitting a nerve anymore. But I can't even think. Like, I can't even think that is exactly how things have been lately. I just can't. I'm losing my train of thought. I feel like I have so much on my plate. Like, I'm finishing this and going to a tennis party. Like, <laughs> ah! But don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying the crap out of all of it. Like, I'm really enjoying my pregnancy. I'm really enjoying tennis. I'm really enjoying... The stress, I guess, like I'm, I'm trying to put a good smile on the stress because the stress comes with something good at the very end. So that's kind of what I'm taking away from this. But um, I guess that's it, y'all. Sorry, this is like a really hot mess. This is a rough one. <laughs> it's a rough video to get through. Um, but yeah, I'm just prepping at this point in time. I feel like... The only thing that's really changing is a lot of movement and a lot of swelling. And it's still hard to really eat well. 
so I'm trying to do that. But the next time you talk to me, it will be on my, um, or our, because we're going together, our um, birthing class. And then I will do a breastfeeding class one, and then my 36-week update. So yeah, exciting stuff coming. So this one was an exciting, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but exciting ones are coming up, and I hope you like my last video about the ugly truth about pregnancy. I, I got a lot of people texting me about that one, so it was, it was one that people really related to, and that was funny, so awesome for that. I love when everyone relates to things. So you guys, I'm going to go show my belly now, Ooh. and then I will see you next time.